Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 14 Extreme Difficulty Extreme Desert Edition. And we are working our way up to... Well, we've got Toxic Fallout, so we're working entirely indoors is what we're doing. But we are finally redesigning our little food storage and production area over here. Um, I'm making a few changes from the end of the last video to try to minimize, you know, the cramped quarters kind of thing. We have this quadruple airlock over here, and that's going to be okay. But then I want to widen out that hallway a wee bit. So, it's going to be more like that. And like that. Two colonists idle. Deadmate, why are you idle? Surely there's lots of things you can be doing. Like, I mean, you, you can't mine. You can't haul. I guess the crafting is outside. And that is kind of true. We got visitors, and they have items to trade. That's very interesting. I don't know why visitors are visiting us now during Toxic Fallout era, but whatever. Um, and yeah, our blocks are outdoors. Actually, I'm going to go and clear this block storage here. It was out there because we were building this structure, but that's not really where we're going to want them forward. Going forward, we're going to want them probably more indoors. We're going to have to expand our storage areas at some point here, too. Um, and what I might do, even though this is a lie, clearly, is I'm going to flag this as an indoor area so people can grab stuff from there. I'm also going to grab flag this stuff as indoors so that people can grab things from there. So we can get wood, we can get our blocks, we can bring in the rest of the potatoes. There's no reason that people will spend excess amount of time out there, but they can travel to it, and that's going to be fine. And you're storing food in there, which, because all of our storage is all messed up, let me go and redefine a stockpile zone here. This is clear all. This is our important meals storage. Uh, that's dumping stockpile, which is going to be okay-ish. I'm going to temporarily, it's not a very big area, but I'm temporarily going to make this the raw food storage area, and then we'll we'll have to expand it and fix it better once we got all the walls sorted out over here. Oh, that can be mined out there. Boom, like that. There you go. So that should be vaguely less disastrous. Our best talker, I believe, is still dead mate. With the social skill of 10. So where's where's the people? The visitors, there they are. Let them get a little bit closer. We've got to auto-door all these things here. We've got lots of power since we got our geothermal set up. Can I just plant? These are going to be sandstone auto-doors. No, i got to tear down the old one. So I'm going to leave it be right now, just because, especially with the toxic fallout, but we'll revisit it soon. Uh, I'm going to keep the frag grenades, because they're handy for now. Actually, an EMP... Yeah, I'm going to keep one set of all the grenades. Actually, I don't use the frag grenades, but the Molotovs and the EMPs are good for taking out alien um, ships that drop. I'm going to sell all the primitive weapons, make a few bucks here. Uh, I'm going to keep the survival rifle. I'm not going to buy another one, though. I think we are going to buy a couple of units of medicine, because we don't have any right now. And other than that, we're going to leave things as is. I'm not going to sell any food. Oops. You don't have enough money. So... Let's buy, there we go, a simple meal. That way you'll have enough silver left over. All right. That'll do just fine. People are mostly keeping themselves busy now. Nikki Quartz has, oh yeah, she's binging on food. <laughs> That's how the episode ended, with her binging on food. And some people are eating here. I guess maybe because it's not a prisoner room anymore, they're actually using it as a regular dining room. We will still have to fix that, though. Get a proper dining room set up over here. So that's what's going to have over here. I mean, have a large dining room, very fancy, and very spacious. Because last time when we had parties, people are having great fun being at the parties, but they're, they feel like the quarters were super cramped. And anyone who was going to try to cook in that area was likewise feeling the same way. So that's going to be mineable. We can get rid of that. And we're going to put sandstone wall over there. I think we don't have enough blocks right now, but that's because it's not in storage. Nikki Quartz, no longer picking out on food. Excellent. Don't become a fatty. Stop that. Don't eat your feelings. It's bad for you. Toxic Fallout. So it's starting the 11th of spring, so it's been going on for two days. Keep in mind that there's only like um, 60 days in an entire year, so it's already gone on a fair deal of time, but it's probably going to go on until the rest of this episode, too, which is a little demoralizing. You're going to deconstruct that stove, and then you're going to rebuild it over there, ideally. 
Oh, you're gonna build a tailor wrench first. Well, that's fine. Okay, ooh, prosthetics is set up. What can you make? You can make tag like steel arm, hook hand, eye patch, denture, wooden foot. So, steel arm is probably not as good. Are you fucking kidding me? In the middle of the toxic fallout? Really? Um, I was gonna say steel arm is probably not as good as a prosthetic arm. So that's something that wasn't there before. Oh, I guess because we don't have it, we can't add it. That makes sense. I mean, I could get Arbez one steel arm, and then later on, you know, maybe just make him the one so he can technically do some things. Like hull. Oh my god, it's a million miles away. Oh my god, this is terrible. Because we don't have a big enough crew here. Zany, can you shoot? You can, actually. You're relaxing socially in a shitty, stupid area. Um, go and equip yourself with... Right. We could... Okay, that's... Hmm. How are we going to deal with this ship? It's far away, which means building all the power to get out there, not to mention the turrets and things like that, which we do have a fair amount of steel for, but it would take forever to walk out there, and the toxic fallout makes it kind of unacceptable. But we don't have a big enough group to be able to just fight. We don't have IED tech. If it wasn't for the toxic fallout, I'd be fine with just running a giant power cable out here, setting up a bunch of guns, and calling it good enough. But... But... Yeah. Can I build some sort of, like, stupid wall around this? Is there, like, abusive, crazy stuff? Probably. I could put down a bunch of stone traps, but all that's going to require standing outside in, um, in the crap. Oh, my God. Can you haul potatoes? <sighs> I just want to deal with the stupid prosthetics over here. Okay, the visitors are leaving. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We may have to put this on hold. I don't know if we have the uh, the goods to actually build explosive IEDs, though. Mortars don't help. They have, like, 0% accuracy. They're crap. What are we going to do about these things? I don't want to lose anyone else over here. I think we're going to have to try to soak the psychic ship for a little while. We need this goddamn toxic fallout to go away. How's everyone's health? Alright, everyone's fine. No one's really getting toxified. So that's good. Hmm. Yeah, we still have nowhere to really haul it to. But it can be hauled to here, but right now people are busy. Or people are restricted from going out there. I do not like this one bit. Need meal source? Yeah, well that's gotta get built. Actually, why hasn't anyone built it yet? You're not a constructor. Well, Nikki is. I'm sorry, a prosthesis trader? That's a thing? That's a thing in this mod. Um... Yeah, we've got... Right, we do have our orbital trade beacon, but it's not in range of any silver, apparently. It's right there. Oh, the silver is being stored out here, which is not what we want. Raw resources. Silver. Disable that. I want it to be stored here. We're, we're going to reorganize our, our storage soon enough. Um, but even if it wasn't the case, I only have 838 silver, and everything's too expensive. Still, it's nice to know that we've got an extra kind of potential trader that can show up, that can sell us more prosthetics. That's from that mod. It's very exciting. I don't know how we're going to deal with that freaking ship. Also, really? But no, you have a bed. That was weird. Why were you sleeping on the ground over there? You have a bed. Hmm. Odd and annoying. 
much like everything else that's going on right now. I think I'm going to temporarily lift all the restrictions so we can actually grab more of this stuff and finish this construction properly. Make sure we have no mining jobs out here. We do have a little bit. So let me just cancel that. We've got lots of steel lying around. That's going to be okay. That way we can grab things and reorganize things, especially the potatoes that are sitting outside. That's driving me a bit crazy. <sighs> so this is all roof. This is all fine. Um, I don't think we're going to need a support pillar. No, especially not with that one over there. Damn it! Alright, dead mate, what are you doing? You are researching. Well, I guess that's fine, actually. As long as someone is doing it. Um, you're planting a tree. Okay, yeah, it looks like the trees are unaffected by the toxic fallout. Actually, these are growing as well. What? Does this not kill plants anymore? It's just the poison ship that does? Is that possible? The hit points aren't going down for these things. Did they change toxic fallout? Interesting. I wonder if they affected any of the rates. So, you know, we're going to watch for anyone who develops toxic fallout past initial and make sure that they get really encouraged to stay indoors. I'm going to work on the tailoring bench, which is fine. I wonder if the eye patch does anything for you. All right, tailoring bench. So we're going to make sure to add some bills over here. Obviously, we don't need any hot clothing at all. Pants, t-shirt. Um, maybe a duster is okay, though. Cowboy hat. Do until you have... And I'm just going to keep, like, two of each. Oops. I'm doing this wrong. I'm reading the screen wrong. I was reading the first column, not the second. There you go. Try to keep two of each around. We don't really have anyone dedicated to doing that at this time, but we're going to get that sorted soon. Zany could actually be doing some of that. Although, if the plants are growing, I'm betting... I don't know if it's just their growth rate being nerfed. A mouse over here, fertility 70%. Yeah, I'm not sure. They might still be growing perfectly fine. Just being out do outdoors is really bad. So what day is it? 14th of spring, so it's been going on three days. Again, we'll try to keep an eye out for the toxic fallout. I just really hope no one starts wandering outside. And then, of course, we've got the psychic drone. Low? That, that's really low. Are you... It's only affecting us 1%. 7%. It does the iron will... It doesn't say it, but I'm wondering if Iron Will actually has an invisible modifier to Psychic Drone effects. It seems possible. Alright, well, if I'm going to be spending some time outside, what I should be doing with this is running some power out to the alien base. We do actually have the steel. I'm going to just go around this area here because we may want to plant there. Um, let's figure this out. So, we are going to put in guns maybe a little further. Something like this. One, two, three. Sandstone walls. Like that. And power that runs behind, like that. Okay, there's going to be that. And we're also going to have a dumping stockpile zone. Like this. It's going to be... Critical priority for chunks. All that. So we'll put our standard people behind here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to cancel the hauling orders. There's enough rocks for us to stand behind. Oops, I killed the power. There we go. And that's connected to the power that's already on a switch. So that's going to be good. We do have to set up auto doors here later on. That's just so far away. And this friction toxic fallout is going to F us. But we'll start working on it, and then if everyone gets to a somewhat higher a value of toxic fallout, then we'll send you back indoors. So I'm going to try to babysit people. There we go, rebuilding that. Park on the right. I, 
think for the auto doors, do they have to be run through or? Oh, it's because that wasn't connected yet. Now I understand. You know what? The redundancy is still going to be okay. So we'll run a line out to there. All that away at some point. Planting plants, I guess, is okay. So let's get um, construction to be top priority for everyone who can construct. We'll get those power conduits and the defensive things up and running as soon as possible before this becomes too much of a problem. And there's a heat wave at the same time. So toxic fallout plus heat wave plus um, psychic ship. So the game has decided that it really, really, really wants all of my people to just die. Period. The problem with the tox the the poison or the psychic ship is that it puts a timer on things. You can't ignore it, at least not forever. You set the temperature down to minus four. You're also set to minus four, so we can keep this stuff frozen and stop it from rotting. It's not spoiling too fast though. And the heat wave, yeah, this is going to have a hard time. Look at this, it's like zero degrees in here. Despite being a relatively small room. Um, I mean, we could double up the walls, that can help as well. But the biggest thing is actually the airlock. That really helps keep this temperatures a lot more stable. We could probably get rid of this extra door, actually. Which I'm going to do, because it's still going to function as an airlock, and that's quite a slow door. We'll replace this one with an auto door at some point as well. I guess, yeah... These are construction jobs. And actually, this is okay. I'm okay with people building this because we need to make sure to get our um, food storage area finished up. So that's all closed up. Good. And what I'll do is I will extend our raw food storage a wee bit here. Okay. But now, people should come up here, be setting up power cables. I should probably auto-door these. They're so heavy and slow. They still have to be stone doors, but... They'll have to be stone auto doors, which means we also need to run some power through there. Now, that has to be on all the time, so I will run a second power connection, and actually, I'll go into this wall here. A little safer and a little bit more protected from things. To here, and then through there. But lots of people are on construction, so this should get built pretty fast, except for the fact that stone doors do take a long, long time to build. Auto doors can break down. So they end up eating a lot of components over the course of the game. Maybe I'll go with steel auto doors. Um, it takes a lot of steel. Sandstone. And the sandstone is tougher. So we'll go ahead and do that. That'll be fine. <sighs> Build all this. Poor mood. So people are going to start getting a little more sick. Heat stroke initial. Toxic fallout. Build up initial. And... Oops, wrong button to scroll through. Minor toxic buildup, so we're going to restrict Zany to be back indoors. Actually, maybe I'll restrict everyone to be back indoors. Did anyone else have toxic buildup minor? Kravec. Don't want it to get any worse than that. Get indoors. Especially since even being indoors, they're going to spend a little bit of time out that outside. So if we look, if we mouse over the toxic buildup while they're inside, it will go down. Although ooh, heat stroke is increasing in here. It's 43 in this place. Jesus Christ. It's not much of a cooler, but it will try to keep this a little bit more modest indoors. And at least we've got a couple... Wow. Unroofed? What the shit? Fuck. I probably had accidentally designated some of these areas as no roof areas at some point. Alright, if we look at clear no roof area, I think there's a little bit of that going on. suspect this is what's causing some issues. Like that. Roof build area. Yeah, I bet you that's a bit of an issue. Um, clear roof build area. There. That's not good, because this area is not actually considered outdoors. Awesome. 
And Nikki, I realize you're trying to sleep, but could you prioritize working on this cooler, actually? For the good of everyone. I mean, this is a large area to try to keep cool, but hopefully it'll help a little bit. Yeah, all right, you're already constructing. This actually makes this outdoors an access to the toxic wave, which is really bad. Fucking hell, we gotta walk a million miles away for the steel. Oh, and the walking speed on sand is a lot worse. That's something I, I hadn't really been paying attention to for some of these things. It's very problematic. And then a component. And then another component. Seal this shit in. There we go. And, yeah, 21 degrees is fine. And hopefully it's going to bring it down to something a little less ridiculous. <clears throat> the other thing we can do in some of these deeper in areas is I can make a little something like a little 2x2 two two area like this actually it doesn't even have to be quite that big um, and do this and what we'll do is put in a door here, a cooler here and make this a no roof area so it's part of the outside and we'll just dump heat into that area as well it'll mostly be protection for the future so if they do get crazy hot they will seek out somewhere that is cooler to go to. It's considered to be indoors, but still... I mean, it's only 10 degrees, luckily, but it's still pretty damn hot. Well, I mean, it's not cold. It's not good for our food. That's doing okay. Start planting, grabbing food. We gotta take a look at your health. Toxic buildup minor. I suspect that's gonna be the case for everyone at this point, so I'm gonna lock everyone indoors for a little while. Again, it's not truly indoors, because they'll wander through here, but it's not too bad. Rexar... Rexar is actually surprisingly okay. That's because you do all the work inside. Psychic drone, tattered apparel, feeling terrible. I need one of these things to break. Like, heat wave, toxic fallout, and a fucking psychic ship. This game, this game has gone into full, like, dick mode. This is not very friendly, game. You're being mean. We're almost done the uh, simple prosthetics, though. That's very nice. Man, I have no idea where this is going to go. This is not a good combination of things. <laughs> this is not a good combination of things. So if I'm keeping everyone indoors because of the stupid toxic fallout, it means I'm not building my defenses. Um, also, I'm going to flag this as no longer being out uh, indoors. Um, clear indoor areas. Stop working there. Twelve degrees. Simple prosthetics is done. So... Bionics. Ooh. Multiplier because of the tech level. Really? Hmm. Project tech level. Spacer. So we're not that. We're colonist level. So it's very expensive to research that. But maybe worthwhile. Hospital beds wouldn't be bad. Devil Strand would be really, really nice to start working on that plants, on those plants. Or we could research some IEDs. I don't think we have the resources to build it. But we might, we might have some artillery shells. Not in our base, but left over here? No, I guess not. Surprise, because they were doing a siege. Maybe they hadn't gotten deliveries yet. So yeah, so this is I'm probably not going to get done before the next one. Um, I'm just going to use sandstone blocks because we have lots of them, although they're technically inaccessible right now. And a temperature, so it's going to be set to, yeah, cool that way. And then what we do, well, we'll have to wait until this actually gets built up so before I open it up. And someone's going on a food binge. Awesome. Power, power. Well, this is fine, but you know what? I will... Eh, no, I guess that's okay. And the power lines are particularly nice, but I can't run them through the stone. If this is all constructed, then maybe. Kravik's gonna build that. Okay, good. So then what I can do is say... Uh, no roof area. Nothing can remove thick roofs. Oh, that's different! Hold on, so this isn't going to work. Huh. 
cancel, cancel, so we don't use up our material. Oh, that's too bad. So if I want a double cooler, what I actually have to do is mine this bit out and then build a wall there. Or not build a wall. No longer pig out. Um, just actually build the cooler there. And we've got power nearby, so that's going to be fine. Uh, Master Oink, could you prioritize... That's outside your area, so let's expand allowed area indoors. Make that count as part of it. So now Master Oink, mine out this place for me. Thank you. That's going to make this indoors, which is not good for the toxic fallout, but... And then temperature, cooler, like that. And we're going to get Nikki, who's our best constructor, to rush that. What do you need? Steel and components. No steel inside the base. So if I said something like, this is part of the indoors. We don't have enough components? Yes, we do. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Nikki, you are unrestricted now. There we go. What are you gonna grab? Oh, steal from over there. Seems odd, but all right. And then you're gonna eat a meal. I guess is okay. Then you're gonna rest. No, you're not. You're gonna work on this cooler, goddammit. Top priority, go, 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 go. I think that's enough. You don't need a ridiculous amount of steel for the coolers. I might be wrong, though. You might need another trip, which would be less than great, and yeah, that is the case. It's only 35 now, so presumably that's all we need. How much more do we need? Just two more, actually. We're short by two. That's really annoying. Especially since she wasn't carrying a full stack. I think she carried 68 or some weird number like that last time. Come on, quickly, quickly. And then you're going to haul the components... Nearby animals have been driven mad. I don't know if there were any nearby animals over there. Looks like no. No crazy camels or mega scarabs or anything. There we go. And you're on. I'm going to try to keep the temperature more reasonable in there. Nikki. I'm going to re-restrict you to indoors. We really need one of these goddamn things to end. How's your health? Okay, still an initial. How's everyone? Toxic buildup, minor, minor. So who's that? That's Master Oink and Krawbeck. So I will unrestrict everyone else. Uh, not Arbez. You just stay indoors. <sighs> we'll get them to go and finish some things again. Hell, our base is all totally exposed. Next thing they're going to do is send pirates after us, because that seems to be the sort of game the game wants to play today. Because it's being nice like that. A little more research. Getting a little bit of clothing going on. Let's, for the record, Psychic Ship plus Toxic Fallout plus Heat Wave plus Manhunter Pack all at the same time. Nikki, you gotta get up here and build this door. Okay, Zany Norwegian is building it. Uh, get over there and seal that door in, you goddamn bastard. Faster, 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 before the Manhunter Pack shows up. Finish this. No, not the Power Conjure, the door. And the droning intensifies, so everyone's going to start flipping out. And they're boomalopes, so if any of them die, they're going to start a huge fire and explosion. And pirates! Sure, we'll offer safety. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Tell me you're halfway useful for something, though. That would be really nice. You can haul. What else you got going for you? No injuries. Paramanic, hard walker, worker, fast walker. You can't intellectual cook or firefight. That's okay. Patient. Bed rest. Flick. That's all good. You're actually good at constructing and repairing. We're going to do a lot of that. Thank you very much. We're going to turn off your art for now. Uh, and get the hell inside. Oh, poor mood. Zany Norwegian. Oh, you're yes. Of course you have to walk a million miles away for this. Um, 
yeah, GG. And there's the raid. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.